Let's find the molar mass for glycerol. Glycerol is also called glycerin. So when we look at the molecular formula for glycerol or glycerin, it's C3H8O3. So we'll use this to find the molar mass. We go to the periodic table and we find carbon. That's 12.01 and the units are grams per mole. I won't write that each time. There are three carbon atoms. So we'll put a three there, multiply this by three. Hydrogen, 1.01 grams per mole. And we have eight hydrogen atoms. We multiply that by eight. And then oxygen over here, 16.00. The units again, grams per mole. And we have these three oxygen atoms. We multiply that by three. So we're going to multiply each of these numbers together and then add those numbers up. That'll give us the molar mass for glycerin, also called glycerol. That number is 92.11. The units are grams per mole. Again, my periodic table rounds to two decimal places. If yours is different, you might have got a slightly different answer here. That means if we had one mole of glycerin, C3H8O3, we would have 92.11 grams. This is Dr. B with the molar mass for C3H8O3. That's glycerin, also called glycerol. Thanks for watching.